We're standing here with Joan Yida, the product manager at Unihawk. Hi, Joan. Uh, are Unihawk ready for the season 2010-2011? Hi, Kelly. Yeah, I, I would say so. I think we've had a, a very good pre-season sales period and uh, the range that we have created for the coming season is both uh, wider and I would say better than ever before. There should definitely be a, a stick for, for all player types this year. <laughs> Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this uh, season uh, coming for the product? Yeah, we've tried to uh, take the, the range one step further, adding a new, uh, a new stick range called Player Plus, which is uh, a development of our already successful line, uh, the Player SQL, which is uh, the most, most sold stick in the world at the moment. And in this case we have uh, added even more details, we have uh, improved the blade, the, the size is a little bit bigger now and uh, the firmness is a little bit better than before. We should probably make it, I would say, hopefully our top, top blade of the, se the coming season. Great. Uh, for yourself, which, what stick is uh, your favorite and why? I would probably say uh, a new thing that we have this season, it's within the different range, you could say it's called Featherlight which is actually not just this Player Plus stick, it's uh, actually a range of two different sticks. We also have it in the Volcano series. It's, um, it's an uh, air pressure carbon fiber shaft with the logo embossed so that you can feel the logo here. It's difficult to show on the, on the camera right now, but it, it's, it's feel, you can feel it here. And also the, um, the look is the same, different colors. The materials used are much lighter than before. The plastic used in the blade is lighter than before. And the, uh, the material used in the in the grip band is lighter than before, which make it make this our lightest sticks yet available in these two uh, different designs. That's that's what I like the most. And if you compare that stick to to a normal player, uh, for example, how light is the stick? Well, actually, the sticks nowadays are down to such low weight, so we're just talking about grams. They're already really really light, our normal stick range. But in this case, we have been able to subtract at least. 5 to 10 grams depending on which model it is which makes the both the balance and the and the weight very very good. Um, <coughs> floorball is a sport about trends. What kind of trends can you see as a manager for Unihawk for the coming season? Well, it's uh it's almost the same every year when you take it one step further adding new colors, adding more more exclusive details such as chrome, such as more uh, more developed metallic colors and also the grip bands have been developed pretty much in the last five years I would say nowadays there are not just these regular uh, wrapped grip bands anymore you have details with broken through uh, perforations here so you can see the actual shaft beneath the grip band details like that has made, uh, made it possible for us designers to design the whole stick not just the, the shaft as okay. before. Uh, the biggest star in the world uh, is Mika Konen. What stick will he be playing with uh, next season? Well, I'm a little bit uh, curious about that too. Mika is a, he's a player who likes to have very, very firm shafts and uh, only a few percent of the, of the players use such hard shafts. So I would probably say that he would use, uh, where do we have it, this one, the 23 Flex. He normally plays with the Volcano Blade, which is the best passing blade that we have. At would say, and he's uh, very satisfied with that. I would say that probably this 23 stick, or if he likes the light version, he would probably use this 26 feather light volcano. That's what I'm guessing. And if you would like to play as Mika Korn, and what, but you are like a young guy, what kind of stick could you use instead of the hard one? You should probably use the same blade, and uh, either you could have this uh, 29 flex, uh, sorry, 26 flex bubble in volcano if you want an inline stick, but you can also comp um, you can make up your own stick using this blade and add any any shaft that we have. I would say that probably a 29 or a 26 flex shaft would be good for an average player. Okay. Um, Unihawk is, is a brand with about all the stars playing with their sticks. Do you have any new stars or clubs signed for the coming season? We already have a pretty good uh, set of stars and clubs and we have a few new ones that we're not just uh, ready to confirm yet so you can keep your eyes open on yeah on this blog as well and you will probably see a couple of surprises 
And the last question, can you can you tell us uh, some secrets about what's coming up, maybe in the Christmas or in the next season, just something? Yeah, uh, I just talked about uh, the Featherlight solution that we have for this year, which is very big for us and has been very, very popular during the pre-season sales. Uh, another thing that Unihawk has started with in the world is, of course, the curve, the curve shaft, which is... Uh, I would say it was almost like a revolution when that came and we're having a large percentage of clubs with the curve shaft nowadays. The obvious combination would be to make uh, something between both those two solutions. So if you want something really light with a curve, I think you're going to have a pretty good Christmas this year. Then we're looking forward for the Christmas and we thank Joan for the interview.